Now that we're going to really get into drawing structures, I want to take a moment to talk about you know how structures are drawn and drawing structures can be very daunting for uh, for for new organic chemists at first. Uh, and the reason for that, if we simply take a look at ethane, there are many different representations of ethane alone that you're going to see uh, throughout uh, throughout your studies. So for example, we've already seen ethane um, being represented like this, where I have uh, two methyl groups and the, there is a bond between the two carbons. Now sometimes um, you'll see ethane drawn like this. And notice the difference between the two. The structure on the left, I have the three hydrogens grouped so that I'm really showing the carbon-carbon bond. But oftentimes uh, there's just going to be a quick abbreviation where you want to write a methyl group, CH3, right? That is a methyl group. And so you write CH3 bond CH3. Now, <clears throat> does this mean that there's a hydrogen-carbon bond? Absolutely not, right? That would violate a whole bunch of things. Uh, but as a shorthand, we can represent it this way. Is one way better than the other? Not necessarily, uh, but sometimes, uh, and I often like to show, if I'm drawing a bond between two atoms, I actually like to show the two atoms that are connected. So if I'm drawing a covalent bond, I'll draw, it, I'll, I'll draw the structure like you see on the left versus the structure like you see on the right. Now, if I'm not drawing any bonds, and I'm abbreviating it, abbreviating it even further, I might simply write CH3CH3. And of course, it's implied that there's a carbon-carbon bond there, right? There aren't, you know, hydrogen-carbon bonds still. You can even go a step further and condense even more and say, well, I have two methyl groups, and therefore there are two methyl groups. This is still ethane, right? Now, the other thing that you're going to notice is that we as organic chemists like to abbreviate things with um, symbolic words. So a methyl, you know, ethane is in essence two methyl groups connected. And oftentimes we'll, instead of writing CH3, we'll simply abbreviate ME for methyl. And therefore ethane is two methyl groups connected and it looks like this. And I could get really carried away and write it like this, right? But it means the same thing. Now, another abbreviation we're going to see is for ethyl, ethyl compounds. Ethyl is abbreviated, abbreviated ET. Uh, so for ethane, uh, an ethyl compound, the hydrogen is a substituent. And therefore, I would write ETH. That's an ethyl with a hydrogen, and it still denotes ethane, right? All of these are representations of ethane. And of course, I can go a step further. I can draw the Lewis structure of ethane, right, which takes a little bit longer, and oftentimes, you know, we're going to see where we go completely away from that. And as a matter of fact, we're going to spend most of our time uh, drawing bond line formulas. And I could certainly draw a bond line formula of ethane, and it would simply be this, right? A one line between two carbons. I can draw a three-dimensional um, uh, dash and wedge projection that looks like this. And we just saw that I can draw a Newman projection that looks like this. So I have 11 different representations of ethane. And we need to get accustomed to recognizing each one of them.